wonderful day at uh, Yale. Uh, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, we're going to talk through uh, first so-called unilateral conduct. I was attracted to the uniqueness of it, like a uh, course delivered with students from around the world. I got to be on a project team with students from around the world. Um, in addition, I'm really interested in markets and economics at a at a very high level, I'm interested in strategy and antitrust plays a big part of that strategy um, piece. Um, so this was a really great way to look at the way different cultures um, embrace markets um, and figure out where they fit in them and how to uh, have that interaction with the companies that exist in these markets. We logged on in the morning and uh, we would have often lecture that was interspersed with different types of activity. You could just wake up in the morning, you don't have to change and get ready, you just, just go to your computer and can have a cup of coffee and participate in the course. One of the great things about the technology that they had was that it has a chat box on the side. So as the standard lecture is going on, if you have a question or if you don't understand something, you can type something into the chat box. And the professor's always watching that, so if everyone has a question on that current slide, they'll go back and cover the material. Um, sometimes they're just like little bit interesting, you know, like what would happen here or I heard about this particular case. And a lot of times in those cases, one of the professors that wasn't doing the lecture will get on the chat box and, and explain what was going on, um, provide some context, steer us towards the resources that we could go and follow up on it in our own side, all the time without distracting the class. The instructors were always available by email. You could ask them questions um, if you didn't understand anything, or even before the course began, if you had questions regarding the syllabus, you had the information to contact the instructors directly, and they would also um, answer in a timely manner. And if you didn't understand anything during the online course, um, the instructors always gave you time um, afterwards to contact them to discuss things or do it even later by email. Any questions about that first price cut? Well, it's above, we know that P2 is above marginal cost. Our groups were like our core study units, so we would do all of the assignments in our group, uh, we would meet during class, and then we would also uh, coordinate the different pieces of the assignment, tag up um, and put together and present the assignment as one particular team. On my team, I had a, a student from IE, so Spain, but he was actually doing a, a master's program while working in uh, in Dubai. And then I also had a student um, from China in my group. Having this online course is a very um, big advantage, I think, especially when you work in a very multinational global company, because this kind of situations um, you will face in future. And um, the course gives a good um, experience and preparation for you how to um, how to conduct later on. Understanding the global interaction between markets and governments is I think more and more important. I mean part of the reason I came to SOM uh, and definitely as I'm out there uh, trying to figure out strategy for different companies you have to keep in the back of your mind how is the government going to take a look at this action, how are people going to take a look at this action and not just in America but around the world in China, which has a very different perspective on markets, or the European Union, which has very different processes.